Hey guys, Shung here. As a YouTuber with quite a lot of followers, I often get emails for sponsorships and collaboration. However, nowadays there's also quite a lot of scamming going on and this weekend I've gotten an email that was quite noticeable a scam and I also did some replies through them and see what uh, would be going on. And basically the big red flag was already a email in the weekend because proper company would actually email you throughout the weekdays from Monday to Friday and weekends getting an email from a company is quite odd because most companies wouldn't even work through the weekends. So I'm going to show you the email. So the first red flag already is actually from the email itself. So basically davinciresolve.agent at gmail.com and yeah. If you know DaVinci Resolve, it's an editing software. And this uh, is from Blackmagic Design and I know Blackmagic Design and I have contacts with their PR marketing team. And the big issue with this email is uh, people working at Blackmagic Design will have a uh, company email address with like uh, basically at blackmagicdesign.com. So anything that is not from uh, that email and yeah, basically would be a scam. So make sure if you are getting emails from a company that they have an email from the company itself. However, of course, there might be startup companies that wouldn't have those emails. But yeah, you can kind of easily see if it's a startup Kickstarter company or if it's a real big company like uh, Blackmagic Design, they would have, of course, their own email even uh, like Chinese companies like Xiyun and uh, a lot of other brands that I've worked with, they would have even their own company emails and not be working with a um, yeah free email service. So now reading further, so basically it's already starting from the email. So hello, dear YouTuber. So this is just an automated or like a pre-scripted email that they just copy and paste instead even like writing your actual name. So they basically probably just BCC this uh, email to like a bunch of YouTubers instead of an actual like uh, personal email because a proper uh, company would really write down your name and actually like write down a little bit information and much better of an email instead of just a uh, pre-made uh, email from the start or from the get-go they at least will write down your name. Uh, overall the email itself, uh, the language is a little bit odd where like basically you have like a but comma let me introduce. So it's kind of have like weird uh, how it's written. So it's also like at the end you have also please contact me from uh, via WhatsApp which also please comma. So this might be like a weird Google Translate uh, version of uh, a different language and then like basically a other red flag is his WhatsApp number. So that number is actually a Russian number. So the big issue with that is I know Blackmagic Design and they don't have an office in Russia. And even though they have a distributor and I doubt this be the email from a distributor and often distributors wouldn't do these kinds of things unless it's working with local collaboration but not international collaboration like this. Uh, this would be more of a thing with like, uh, yeah, more from the head office from uh, Blackmagic Design. So basically the email says like, want me to do like, uh, yeah, promote DaVinci Resolve. Honestly, I've already got videos about DaVinci Resolve and yeah, kind of is odd. And yeah, basically, the email itself has a lot of issues how it's written. Uh, overall, uh, yeah, if it's a proper email from a company uh, doing these kind of offers, it wouldn't be text only. It would be with images with a lot more text details about like what is new about it uh, or like what's gonna be like uh, in the next edition, especially uh, often will have like a whole email of like the new product even uh, show me the exactly like the whole new product information with like talking about the product uh, or even showing the image of the new product and uh, yeah what's new about it sometimes uh, 
they would talk a little bit about it and then ask me to sign a NDA or uh, sign something that I wouldn't announce the information uh, ahead of time before they actually give me the information. However, yeah, this email is, yeah, not like a proper email that I would get from Blackmagic Design. They would have a really extensive list of how they would write out like the information of what they want to be spoken about or what the new product has like uh, optimized or improved. And they have like a big list a, and more of a proper briefing also with it. So this of course is just a really simply quickly written email and just uh, yeah, honestly it's something you can just directly ignore. However, if you don't know all these red flags, uh, you probably think that this is really from uh, black magic design however yeah this is a really big scam email so probably because it's from russia it's from a uh, hacker or somebody who's trying to get your details from like uh, your kind of like your payment details and then try to hack into your account and get money from your bank or from your paypal accounts or other kind of payment accounts so these things you do really need to look out for that you don't give your information away too quickly. Um, just make sure you're talking to the real person. So with this, uh, yeah, I've also emailed Blackmagic Design asking if they know a Noah Moore and also the email address and also Blackmagic Design just, uh, yeah, I have the proper contact of their PR and they replied back that, uh, yeah, this person is not from their PR team and yeah, basically should ignore this. So uh, instead of actually ignoring this email, I want to see a little bit further what go is going on. So asking a little bit further, um, also what's, it's kind, they try to kind of sound like they're um, a proper company or properly accepting like my price offer. And then like, uh, yeah, saying that I would able to get promo codes for the viewers. However, people can, can download DaVinci Resolve for free. So why would they need a promo code? Of course, also maybe promo code for getting the full version, uh, but it's not really that expensive. So, and honestly, most people I would promote to would be able to use just the free version and really uh, not on purposely had to go for the promo code for the full version. And the, yeah, second, uh, basically, the other red flag is how he ends the email with. So the one he stops with best regards. So there's no like his name at the end. Um, like with a proper uh, email from a company would have like best cards, their name, their uh, WhatsApp, their LinkedIn, their blah, 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 like a lot of uh, what even website links. So basically you could double check quite a lot of things about that person. Uh, however, this is missing that. And with the second email is like best record company agent, which is even worse than before. Uh, and then like the third email um, I've asked, them uh, if I would get the full version uh, to test and review. And then they basically say I would be able to get it from a Google Drive and that I should send me their PayPal uh, or PayPal account. So that I think is uh, what they're aiming for to get my PayPal account email so they can try and hack that email and try to get my money. However, uh, I am smart and my PayPal is basically um, a different email from my actual published contact email. So I'm able to make it quite secure and only give my uh, PayPal detail to like companies I really trust or like persons I really, really can trust that I uh, can get the money from. Uh, but the main thing is like, uh, yeah, the email saying that I would be able to get DaVinci Resolve beta version from their um, Google Drive. It's kind of odd because like DaVinci Resolve Blackmagic Design has a proper website where you can download the free version and I can, they basically have a server where they can upload, of course, also their beta version to test. So 
most companies I know with like software, um, they would have like a own server and not be relying on a third party free service to uh, give you those files. So this is a quite odd thing to do uh, that they actually are using Google Drive. And uh, yeah, honestly, you can also ch check out Noah more. Basically, I've also did a search for Noah more and the email address and nothing pops up on Google or uh, nothing pops up on LinkedIn and especially nothing um, yeah, substantial really be found. So yeah, this is quite um, something you really need to be careful about if you're getting these sponsor emails that you double check all the informations if the person actually works at that company and if that if uh, yeah basically the first red flag of course is the email address but of course if it's a big company you would know they have like a proper email and if it's a small company they might not have that but yeah further on you can search for them the, the person on LinkedIn if they have a LinkedIn account especially the company from uh, America UK Europe uh, those would have like a LinkedIn account Asia maybe not that fast but um, yeah, they're starting to do that too. And yeah, um, honestly, uh, yeah, talking with like company sponsorship from Asia, most companies I have to say from China is you wouldn't get money sponsorship. They most likely would give you a free product. So those would only give them like your address and your phone number and mostly uh, they won't be able to do much with that than actually send you that product to review. Um, however, yeah, those um, yeah paid sponsorships are basically the most difficult to handle. Make sure to talk about with them, like about more detail, try to get more detail out of them. But uh, yeah, mainly you need to really double check with those paid sponsorship if you're really talking to a person from that company because with your payment details they can try to like scam you with uh, getting money off your account or even trying to hack your account so make sure to double check everything so hope you guys found this a very useful video and uh, yeah if you really like it give me a thumbs up and uh, if you have any questions please comment it here below and if you want to see more videos make sure to hit the buttons that will appear and also hit the subscribe button for more videos in the future and i'll see you next time bye bye